Hello YouTube buddies and welcome back to a Skyrim Remastered and we left it here guys if you remember we need to go to the Watchtower and kill our first dragon that is going to be interesting guys very interested and uh, before going though now that we've done a couple of quests for this jaw which is here as you can see it's the jaw and now we're gonna start looting around here so let's check real quick what we can get I don't want a wooden bowl that's for sure what we can get uh, you can get look everywhere really and see if you can get anything that interests you okay of course you can and um i think what we're going to do as well is going to do a bit of enchanting guys because i have a lot of things that we can disenchant and i'll show you how enchanting works really 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 quick so let's do that let's have an itchy we did a quest for him at some stage Right, let's go to the enchanting table, shall we? Right here. Okay, to enchant an item, you must know an enchantment and have a filled soul gem to power the enchantment. Enchantments are loaned by disenchanting or destroying enchanted items. So, there we go. Now, uh, we are going to disenchant. Well, we, can, uh, we are using that, so we are not going to... Which one are we using, actually? damage right i'm going to disenchant this one guys yeah so uh on pc just click e and you will learn it okay and then uh, you learn the frost damage enchantment from destroying this item okay so you already learned that and that's really really cool i want to disenchant that as well let's do that and we learned the silent moon's enchantment very nice indeed what is this can we disenchant that? Yes. Uh, Robs, I think that you only can do one at a time, though. Because if if it has the same enchantment, you won't be able to do it. Okay? There you go. You can't do it, you see. I definitely want to do that as well. Because effectively, what you're doing is uh, giving yourself more space on your uh, inventory as well. Okay? So, let's see. That's enchantment done. Now we learn all of it. Now, if you want to enchant something, I will explain that in another uh, episode, guys. We will do a guide check for enchantment. But I want to make sure they still have my axe. Yes, still I got it. Okay, that is brilliant. Uh, we could do a bit of uh, alchemy as well, but I want to do two separate guides uh, to do that as well. So let's get on with that, guys. We need to go. And uh, what we need to do, we need to find... Uh, Irileth near the western watchtower and there is where we are going to face our first dragon and it's going to be awesome okay let's go now one thing that we are going to need to kill this dragon is going to be bow and arrows because uh, it's just so difficult to actually get him at melee range, especially at the beginning of the fight. Uh, afterwards, when he's injured or whatever, then it gets a bit easy as well. But uh, in the meantime, you're going to need uh, range weapons, and the range weapon that we are using is going to be bows and arrows, which is going to be interesting as well. And keep in mind as well, guys, that we have Findal with us, which is a range. Um, it's an archer, so that will help as well. You there. We're looking for someone in White Rock. You will pay good money for him. All right, and who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Rock. So we will be in Rorik's stead if you learn anything. Okay, so we started in the meantime of need, okay? So we need to find the Red Woman. And that's it. I'm going to not speak to him anymore. So let's uh, go and try to kill this dragon, shall we, guys? Because it's going to be awesome. Let's go. Now you can go around and follow the roads and, you know, do it nicely if you want. I'm going to jump and try to go a bit faster. And the first thing I'm going to do is equip my bow and arrow in a second as well. Let me just get to the meeting point because you need to find them first then you can actually have to kill the dragon, okay? So let's go to the meeting point first. 
and then we are going to face our first dragon and that's going to be our first soul for uh, our shouts and oh it's going to be awesome i love this game guys that's the watchtower you can see that's where we will be fighting the dragon and this is a meeting point where all these soldiers are here you see them right let's do it guys let's do it I know it looks bad, but we've got to figure out what happened. And if that dragon is still skulking around somewhere, spread out and look for survivors. We need to know what. Okay, well, it's time to. Uh, I'm going to actually level up real quick, guys, and I'm going to uh, invest in a stamina. But I want to obviously equip my uh, bow and arrow real fast. Uh, we're going to go to weapons and look, 135, that's really nice. And uh, 31 of those as well, so not too bad. Um, oh, there is. I thought, my God, I lost it. Okay. Let's see what happened, guys. Let's see what happened. It's going to be interesting. Right, let's go to the watchtower. We need to talk to one of the soldiers there. Because he's the one that raised the alarm, I believe. So it's going to be around here. Where are you, my friend? Scared to death, hiding there inside there. Let, let's, let's see. Okay, Western Watchtower discovered. Where is he? No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Porky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Alright, okay. So it's a bit... <laughs> it's like... Uh, yes, very scared indeed. Right, guys, I, I need to get out here. I have a dog in there. Oh my god, come on, move, guys. Right, there we go. Right, where is he? Can we see him, guys? Oh, there you are. Can you hear it? Kill the dragon, dudes. Kill the dragon. Right. Let's get um, in a position, a range position, because this guy will fly over and spit fire on you big time, and it causes a lot of damage, you know? Oh, where is he? Because I can't see him. Can you see him? Oh, he's down there. Right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go real quick. There you go. I see, we can get him before he starts flying again. Oh, there you go. But at least we got him inside. That's what you want. So it should land at some stage. Oh, dude. Oh, come on now. Come on now. And of course, we could actually melee in here. But you see, it goes so fast that it's just not worth it. So we are going to have to uh, dodge him a bit. And oh, dude. Oh yeah, for the win. Come on, let's do it, guys. It can be a long fight, uh, you know, it, it, because we're doing with archery all the time. It's a bit slower, but uh, you know, hopefully it won't take too long, really. Oop, missed that one. Right. I think the next one, maybe. Let's go wait another, another time where he lands, and then we can actually. Oh, dude. Try to do it again with melee, maybe in the next uh, time. Right, I think shall we shall we equip the melee now? <coughs> <coughs> right, it's gonna be there. So let's quick, let's quick, let's go real quick and see if we can actually trash him now. This is a nice spot as well to kill him from. Now we could definitely go with melee. It's not going to move now. It's going to die here, but you know what? We are here anyway. Boom. Oh yes, we did it, guys. We did it. Oh, loot him, by the way. You need to loot him. But look at these effects, guys. I love this. This animation of the fire. Look at that. So beautiful. That is so impressive. I, 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 I so love this so much. There we go. We are absorbing our first soul. Okay. This is what's happening. Let's loot him. I'm going to get that. Now, these things, guys, it's so expensive, but it weighs so much. So you need to get rid of this real fast, okay? Because otherwise... Uh, this is all, all probably he ate 
one of the soldiers or something, whatever. But uh, you need to get rid of all that real fast as well, okay? So there you go, we kill them, Dragon Soul Absurd. Use the shout section of the magic minion to equip you and relating for shouts. So let's do that. Now we're going to go magic and we're going to go to shouts. And there we go, because now we uh, absorb a soul, we can use our uh, shout as well. So that is equipped as well. And as you can see, Boom. there you go, okay? And you press set to uh, use it. Okay, so, oh yes, we are going to use the shout. And I think if we come around here, one of these soldiers will come along and uh, try to speak to us, right? well, this guy, I think. I can't believe it. You're Dragonborn. Dragonborn? What do you mean? In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons at Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Well, I don't know what happened to me. Well, you can shout now. You couldn't before, right? That can only mean one thing. Mm -hmm. You must be dragonborn. Oh, yes. That's cool. And you know what we're going to do now? I'm going to uh, shout at them. My grandfather used to tell stories about the dragon. Right, ready? Those born with the <laughs> Uh, love. And it's three levels as well of strength. Uh, that that is really cool. That's really cool. Any dragons, then, idiot. They are just coming back. I can't believe it. You are dragon. Yeah, re ready? You oh there. <laughs> right. Let's go real fast to hand the quest in. I'm gonna have to switch my weapon as well now, guys. Because what well, I'm doing items. Because obviously I'm going to need my main weapon now. And I love this. Uh, Hammer. Although, you know, we are going to find soon a better Warhammer that uh, is incredible. You will see it. You will see it. You will see it. So, uh, let's get out here. Let's go back to speak to the Jol and inform that we kill the dragon. And from that moment on, the game starts, guys. Then is when this start developing really, really, really awesomely. I love this tree. And you know what? Because I am a photographer, I love to take photos of things like that. And look at that. What about if we put this right down the thirds? What do you think, guys? Boom. Hopefully, we can take it. There we go. Right. Let's go in real fast. Look at that. That is um, White Run. Isn't that beautiful, isn't it? I was saying the other day, you know, and this game is just so perfect in every way. I mean, there are things they, of course, they can improve and. If you look into there really, really closely, you know, and some people really hide the game because it's not. Do you hear that? Those voices are the grey beards, guys, and I will, I will show you in the next episode what I mean with that. But I was saying that some people even hate the game, but you know, in terms of uh, graphics and animations and making the game look gorgeous, come on, you can, you can really. You can't fall this game. I, I don't think you can. I really don't. But there you go. Let's go in. Oh, by the way, I have decided to come uh, walking, but in actual fact, you can uh, fast travel now to the actual Dragon's Bridge. So let's go that real quick. There you go. And remember as well that we have this little fella dog following us that we found on the last episode, I think. So, beautiful. Right, let's do it. Let's talk to the jaw. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to this guy? Oh, dude, what is he doing? Uh, excuse me, sir. You're on the wrong side of the chair, dude. Now, this is uh, one of those moments, isn't it? Oh, God. So lovely. Uh, I was saying about how beautiful the game is and perfect. Well, there you go. It is what it is. Oh, dude. Uh, the watchtower was destroyed, but we killed the dragon. I knew I could count on Irelet, but there must be more to it. Oh god, it just looks so disabled. I'm sorry, but oh, there, uh, there we go. Um, turns out that I may be something called Dragonborn. Dragonborn. 
What do you know about the Dragonborn? Well, nothing, but when the dragon died, I absorbed some kind of power from it. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. See, the way of the boys that have the next quest from the Greybeards. The Greybeards? Masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. What do these Greybeards want with me? The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thume or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Hrothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Runga, <laughs> Scottish accent, how are you? <laughs> there you go, but this guy, look guys, oh my god. Oh, Alright, let's talk to him again. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal house car. And this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? No, no, no. We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Well, thank you very much. There you go. There you go, guys. We completed the quest. We have a new companion. If we want you guys, I don't know what to do. That's Lydia. She's a more tankish, if you like. She has a shield and a sword. But I don't know what to do, man. I really don't know what to do because um, it's not. This is not a companion that we will use eventually. Anyway, uh, we will find a companion, and this dog is getting my nerves. Okay, Miko. Uh, we I found him, and uh, I was trying to uh, find some more uh, alchemy things, and I found that someone so I took him with me. But uh, the actual, what is he doing? His knee. <laughs> Dude, look, ready? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Anyway, guys, uh, we killed the dragon, we absorbed the uh, soul, we have a shout, uh, we did a bit of uh, enchanting. Oh, guys, what else we can do? I'm gonna try to sell something to this guy, you know? This damnable conflict is clean. I had you figured for a mage. I think you'll appreciate this. I'm going to try to sell him. All these uh, things that we got from the dragon, I think. Um, what can I, what can I, what can I sell him, guys? Um, oh, he may not want that actually, but you know what? I'm going to sell that because I need to. Uh, I'm going to sell that as well because we don't want any of those. That can go as well. Uh, books. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna sell that, that, and that. In terms of weapons, oh, a Staff of Fury. Yeah, he can take that as well if he wants, okay? Uh, make sure that... You know, if you've got the... Yeah, that's correct, all of it. Okay, that's, well, that's it. Uh, I think that we're going to leave it here. And thank you very, very much for uh, stopping to watch this video. Please comment, subscribe, and like. And join me next episode, because this is getting really interesting. Please, uh, as I said, comment, subscribe, and like. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, take great care.